person that puts their personal preferences, their desires, their plans, their ambitions, their goals, as we say, our dreams. When you place your dreams in the hands of God, there's the Bible says that God can do amazing things above what you can ever imagine. But it all begins with this simple song or a simple prayer. Lord, I give myself away. As we begin this new year in 2012, my, what I've been feeling in my heart, what we need to do is make God first again. Not just on the first day of the week, but every day of our life. Every area of our life. Put God first in everything we do. We do. My prayer is that I spend double the time of prayer that I did last year, that I read twice as much as God's Word as I did last year, that I put God first, not only in my profession, but in my personal life, with my family, and my home, and my finances. And let me tell you, when you give yourself away, God will do incredible things in you and through you, greater things that you could ever imagine. As we sing this a couple more times, make it not just a song, we're not singing songs. Let it be your prayer. Say, Lord, in 2012, I give myself away so that you can use me. You know what the definition of insanity is? Do the same thing and expect different results. You want to know the key of having an incredible new year? Give yourself away. Put God first. Say, God, I give you my life. My life is not my own. Can we sing it again a couple more times? Yes. Let's sing with passion, with our heart, and say, God, I give myself to you. And if it's not my own, to you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you.
this of uh, uh, January of this new year. Show us areas, God, that we need to put you first in. Or maybe we haven't put you first in our relationships, or we didn't put you first on the job, or maybe we're just so focused on uh, getting ahead that we've tried and we've done things ourselves in our own effort, in our own strength. Lord, today, this week, these next couple weeks, remind us, show us the places that we need to put you first. And Lord, we know that when we do that, incredible things will happen. We confess this morning, our life is not our own. Our plans, our dreams, our desires, we put them second this morning, God. Lord, thank you for each person that came, each guest that came here to get today. I don't know what struggle they might have. Maybe they're struggling with skepticism. Maybe they're struggling with just unbelief or just feeling disappointed, discouraged. Lord, whatever condition anyone has come here today, let us all leave here changed. Not because of a great church or a great service, but a great God who has the power to change lives. We honor you today. We love you.